Today, I want to give you a day in the life of a mom with a toddler and a two-week-old. day in the life it's because we have a nice little routine that we do every day and I'd like to share that but right now with a two week old every day is something different because she's changing she's growing we're all adjusting so it's a little chaotic but it's fun today um miss Angie decided to wake at four and so I decided to take her downstairs and put on the news and then just kind of hang out with her while she was awake. When she is awake during the day, I love to read to her. She loves any books that have music or play sounds. And so we did a few of those. To calm her down, I walked outside and yeah, it was still dark out, but that always calms her immediately. I gave her a bottle, we did some cleaning. She finally fell asleep a little bit. Then Miss Layla Jane came down. She usually comes down between six and six 30 and that's pretty consistent now with Layla our routine is pretty consistent she always wants her smoothie so I got her that and while I was doing that she likes to snuggle with Angie and by snuggle I mean she pretty much just like lays on her and hugs her and kisses her all over it's really cute then she just kind of has her smoothie and then Brian eventually comes downstairs around seven. And while he's watching the kiddos, that's my chance to go and get ready. And I just did that and I can hear Angie screaming downstairs. So I'm gonna pick up the nursery real fast because the nursery is always just kind of like, it looks like a bomb went off in the mornings because it's just chaotic. Angie is not sleeping well at all. I mean, don't get me wrong, she sleeps great during the day, but at nighttime she's up all the time. She doesn't doesn't want to be put down. She wants to be held constantly. So that's something we need to work on. As you can see, here's her nursery and we have like bottle caps here. The bed's a disaster because Brian and I are taking shifts laying in here with her, holding her. There's a binky, a bottle, wipes from diaper changes during the night. That goes over here. It's just, look at this, just bottles everywhere. Fallen soldiers. Um, so I need to take all this downstairs. So I'm gonna go down and check on them. It sounds like Brian got her quiet. Um, and it's almost time to take Layla to school. She goes to school uh, two days a week now, which is kind of nice because that gives me time just with Angie. But today Angie does have her two week appointment, her doctor's appointment. So I'm anxious to get there and talk to them about her sleep and her poop. I feel like, I can't remember what newborn poop is supposed to look like, but I feel like Angie's is really runny and almost like diarrhea-like. So I really wanna to talk to the doctor about that, but more importantly, the sleep issue and how to break her of not wanting to be held all the time. I remember Layla did this when she was a baby, but I don't remember it starting this early. So I'm anxious to hear what the doctor says. If you're wondering why Layla Jane is in a St. Patrick's Day dress, today is Spirit Week. Well, this week is Spirit Week at school and today is holiday day. So they get to wear any clothes or accessories or anything that represents a holiday. And since it's June and there's really not any holidays in June, I just had to find any old holiday outfit that I hadn't already packed up and put in storage and St. Patrick's Day was the dress, so that's what she's wearing. Okay, Brian's making fun of me right now. You know this why is she my puts them in the bags, it's so I can go like this and take them right to the trash. No, this is my vegetable garden. Well, I thought they're dead. This is I think we can regrow this. They don't I think regrow, they well, die. I don't I don't even know what this is, to be honest. Exactly, and look but at these. But those are our carrots. Okay, well this one is dead. Wait, wait, look at the brown no. Leaves. Now this one, I'll admit, my flowers died. Right, this one's going in the trash. Oh, so sad. Layla, daddy's making fun of my vegetable garden. So about every spring, I get the itch to have a vegetable garden. And I try so hard, you guys. But it always dies, so, but I'm not giving up on these. See, we got some sprouts. I think we're gonna be okay. All right, we have a few more minutes till we have to leave for school. So Layla's just gonna play out here. I'm gonna go check on Angie. And then we're gonna head off to school. And then right after, I'm gonna take her to her doctor's appointment. Look at that, sleeping during the day, getting all ready to be up all night. It 
was at nine and it's about 9.30 right now. They've already weighed her, taken some measurements and everything. We're just waiting for the doctor still to come in. I've been singing to Angie and keeping her calm and Brian just got her to sleep now. So I'm sure she'll, the doctor will be in soon and wake her up. <laughs> oh, here they are. Just left the doctor's office and she did great. They said she's growing great. She's actually um, in the 77th percentile for her height, 78th percentile for her weight, and 98th percentile for her head circumference. And I remember Layla always had, was high up in the percentile for her head circumference, but low in the height and weight. So it's kind of interesting to see she's bigger. They also said like with the sleep, there's not much you can do right now, which I figured they say, you know, you can't spoil a newborn. You can't hold them too much. And you know, she'll grow out of it. But right now she just wants to be held because that's what she's used to. She's used to being in the womb and being comforted. And we just got to do that for right now. I might look into something called the snoo bassinet though. I don't know if it's just a gimmick um, that's going to get me to take my money, but I am going to kind of research that some. If you've used the snoo bassinet, please let me know in the comments below if it's worth it because we might rent that. But right now, um, it's about 10 o'clock and I need to run an errand into Target. And I would like to do that before I pick up Layla Jane because it's just easier to go to Target with one kid instead of two. So Angie and I are heading into Target now. Let's see if they have your formula. We got a little bit more than they used to. I'm actually doing a mixture of pumping and formula um, because you know the formula is so low right now and it's hard to find in stores. So every time I'm at the store, I try to buy some just in case it, it, it's not here next time. As I mentioned earlier, she sleeps all day long and is up all night. So this is good that she's starting to stay awake a little bit longer during the day. She's starting to get her days and nights on track. I shouldn't say back on track, on track. because She's never had her days and nights right. Gotta get Layla's favorite smoothies. Layla is also obsessed with these no, new yogurts with cereal on them. Gets her a good way to get her some calcium. when she falls asleep in her car seat because this is the only place where she'll actually stay asleep without being held. So that means I can run around and get some stuff done with both hands and not having to balance her and do it at the same time. So I'm going to move quickly, put these away, clean up a little bit because in about, gosh, already on an hour, I have to go pick up late Jane. Well, I got a lot done. Mott, um, did the laundry, picked up some, got Layla Jane's swim bag ready, and it's time to go pick her up already. So I'm gonna go get her, and maybe we'll go to the pool after this, or after school, um, seeing what kind of mood she's in, or if she's too tired, we'll just come home and rest for a little bit, but time to load Angie back up in the car. At least she's still in her car seat. Let's go. Just got back from picking Miss Layla Jane up 30 minutes early so we could go meet her friends at the pool. And now she's saying she doesn't want to do the pool anymore. I would have kept her in school for those last 30 minutes to have some peace and quiet. <laughs> oh, and now she's going to go wake the baby. We got you a new swimsuit. What are we going to do all afternoon then? Play in the pool. Well, you just said you don't want to go to the pool. Oh my goodness, you are such a girl. You are such a woman. Okay. All right, I guess we are going to the pool. So let's get in our swimsuits and we're going. So Layla has been doing great at her swim lessons and usually goes in the pool without her floaties, but normally daddy's in the pool with her. Since I can't get in the pool, I told her she could do no floaties, only in the hot tub. Good job. And practice her swimming. But in the pool, when I can't get in and no one's in with her, she's got to wear her floaties. What are you doing? You're going to go pee in the bush. Oh dear. Okay, that's a bad thing I started. One day we were here and she really had to go pee and I didn't have a key to the bathroom so I told her just to go in the bushes because no one was here. And now every time she says she has to go pee in the bushes. She's a very earthy girl. Angie's still asleep. I got a fan right on her. Fortunately, we got lots of neighborhood kids over here to play and keep Layla entertained and help her with her swimming. Letting her practice her floating now. I think these older girls are having fun. 
playing teacher and coach. This is such a fun way to kind of break up our day, the afternoon. Because, you know, sometimes when she gets home from school, the afternoon's long. I'm um, just trying to find things to keep Layla entertained while also still having to take care of Angie. And, you know, as a new mom of two, it's just learning how to find that balance and just get adjusted. Even though I feel like I've already am totally, like, used to it. I've got it down that, you know, I have two kids, but it's still different. And still working out kinks and figuring out how to keep everything balanced. It is funny like I can't imagine life without Angie now like it just that seems so long ago just having one kid and I look back too and I think my gosh why did I ever complain about just having one kid it was so easy just been about two hours at the pool that was so fun and really kind of broke up our afternoon and now Layla's just sitting down having a snack and as you can see Angie is naked because she had a huge blowout at the pool and it got all over her outfit and normally I have an extra outfit in my diaper bag but I did it today so I need to get her dressed but she seems content right now so I might just leave her she was making some noises she's probably gonna start getting hungry oh yeah here we go all right let's get a snack. While we were at the doctor, they gave us these probiotics to try out with her to kind of help. She's been having some diarrhea-ish. So I'm gonna stick one of some of these in a bottle for her, along with her vitamin D drops that we're supposed to use once a day for her too. Just laid Angie down and of course she pops, her eyes pop open and she's awake, but that's okay because she didn't finish her bottle. And this one, what are you doing, Layla? Making a mask for Lovey. Making a mask for her doll, Lovey. So this one right here never relaxes. She just doesn't stop, which I love. But sometimes I just want to watch a movie or something. And now she's awake. So we'll finish your bottle, okay? I just heard from Brian. He's getting ready to take my car to the dealership because apparently there's a recall on something. We can't drive anywhere, which is fine. Yes. So I'm trying to just leave Angie, not hold her constantly. Even though you can't spoil a newborn. Also just trying to get her used to not always being held. Brian's study. He's not here right now. And what is this? We're in a haunted house now? No, it's an elevator. Okay, we're in an elevator going to a haunted house. This is what we do some days. This can go on for hours. But I like to, you know, humor her and play with her, so I'm just going all in on this. She has the best imagination, I've got to say. try to lay down Miss Angie and see how long it takes before she wakes up. And let's see if Angie will lay down while I put my wrap on. Now don't wake her. Let her be, okay? Let's see if she'll sleep some by herself. Oh, a snack for Lovey? Lovey's a bunny? That's perfect. A bunch of carrots. Now Leia, let's check on Angie. It's been about three minutes. And she's still asleep. Now why can't you do this at nighttime? At nighttime? It's such a struggle. She just wants to be held. We swaddle her and she tries to bust out of her swaddle. When you take the swaddle off of her, because I think maybe she wants her arms free, then she gets all mad because her arms are, you know, going everywhere. And so it's just, we can't please her at nighttime. I just wish she could sleep like this peacefully at nighttime. That'd be awesome. Look, unswaddled, doesn't even have clothes on, and she is just out. <sighs> what is it about nighttime that makes babies go crazy? Well, we made it about 10 minutes. That's okay, you need to be awake more during the day. Oh, look at that yawn. Oh my goodness. She's back asleep, but at least I am hands free now. We're outside now and just got some packages and Layla's super excited. She loves when we get packages. Okay, now this one actually is the Walmart baby registry welcome box. 
The Walmart one takes a while to get here and I kind of forgot about it and didn't order it until What's later. This? So I'm getting it after What's the baby this? came. Prenatal support smoothie mix. That's probably still good even afterwards. Ooh, chocolate milkshake flavored, yummy. Oh, we got some more wipes. That's always good to have. Some diapers. More wipes, yay. So this is, yeah. So this is what comes in the Walmart registry box. And then here's something super special daddy ordered for you. So for those who have been watching us, you know Layla Jane is super into music and records. She has her own record player even. And this is her latest favorite singer. And Daddy ordered her a new record. Is it Katy Perry? With, you what's your favorite early? song? Um, Layla is obsessed with Roar and Dark Horse. Not, and obsessed. We even have a little outfit that she wears when she dances and sings to Roar. And she finally got the record for it. So I'm sure we're gonna be listening to that. Okay, so what are we doing now? So this is a school bus now. She just keeps going. She's like the Energizer Bunny. I thought maybe she and Daddy were gonna go listen to her new record, but he I'm, just took a phone call. I'm, and I'm done with my school bus. Okay. So what are you doing now? Is that a massage? Nope. Oh, honey, I'm getting a massage. Do I have to go get you more food? So daddy is almost done with work, which is very exciting. Then I have help. And they're probably either going to listen to their new record or he might take her swimming again. Bye bye. Have fun swimming, bye. second time today. Well, you're an elephant now, okay. You are just all sorts of crazy now. Yep, going swimming again. That's kind of how it is in this household in the summertime. So while they're at the pool, I'm gonna give this little stinker a bath. Yeah, because we've had a couple blowouts today. I got a nice clean baby. And while they're finishing up at the pool, I'm gonna start slowly getting some dinner ready. And we're gonna have dinner. And then before long, it's gonna be time for Layla to go to bed. And then it'll just be us with the Angie up. Ready for another night of partying, right girl? Yep, she's sleeping, she's already back asleep. <sighs> Looks like I'm gonna be dinner prepping one handed too. Are you hungry? I got broccoli, your new favorite. Lately, she's obsessed with broccoli. And now this will probably only last for like a week, loving broccoli, so I'm really pushing it right now. Trying to get as much in as I can. So you know, any typical preschooler, they love something one week, hate it the next. So I'm not gonna lie and pretend we have family dinners every night, because that's just not realistic. We would love to, and we would try to. But you know, some nights we just are rushing before bedtime, sometimes she's cranky, which all of a sudden she just turned a little cranky, so I'm giving her a bottle. And tonight is just one of those nights where she has her TV tray, Layla Jane, and she's eating in front of the TV. I'm feeding Angie. Brian's gonna help get Layla to eat because she's being a little difficult right now. That's just the way it goes some nights. Night, honey, I love you. Well, Layla Jane was exhausted, probably from swimming twice today. So she is already going up to bed. And Brian usually always puts her to bed. Usually at this time, I'd be going around cleaning up, which I will eventually, but I'm pretty exhausted and I got a sleeping baby in my hand. So I might just have some baby snuggles right now. I did just order the Basnu bassinet. I'm really excited to see if it really is this miracle worker that everyone claims. And I'm definitely gonna be doing a vlog on it. It comes in two days and I can't wait to do a review and let you all know what I think of it. But now I'm just gonna wait for Brian to come down. We might watch the news or watch a show. And then usually I go to bed really early because I take, Brian takes the first shift with her. And so I go and sleep as much as I can. 
and then around midnight or 1 a.m. I take over for her, which means I'm pretty much just holding her throughout the night so she can sleep. Yeah, that's kind of been our schedule right now. Thanks so much for watching and we will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.